So let's take a look at how we can use Bitrix for document management while you are remote working. So on the left hand menu, you'll see uh, your drive. So if you click into your drive, then this generally is where all your documents reside. So Bitrix has three different areas essentially where you can find your documents. Uh, so we have a My Drive, uh, and we'll discuss My Drive in a moment. It's essentially where all the files and folders that you have connected from modules such as work groups uh, will appear in here. So we'll take a look at this shortly. Secondly, we have the company drive. So the company drive is a central repository for all your company's documents. And again, we'll go into details of how we can uh, work on these documents uh, in Bitrix. And we'll also take a look at uh, how we can assign permissions on these documents as well. So this is uh, great for uh, accessing documents remotely. And then finally, we also have uh, documents associated to project work groups and uh, other kinds of work groups, such as departmental work groups. So if you've watched our task and project management video, you'll understand that you can store documents on a project by project basis. Or if you've watched our work group collaboration video, then you'll also be able to know that you can set up a work group for a department such as marketing, and you can store your marketing documents within that particular work group. So if I click into mega project, for example, here, we'll be able to see in the top uh, menu, if I click on drive, we'll be able to see the documents that reside within this particular project only. So this is another great way of accessing documents remotely whilst you are working on individual projects. So let's go back to the drive element. And this is the same on both the cloud version and the self-hosted. And every user has their own My Drive. And as I mentioned right at the start, the My Drive is your own personal document storage area. So if you wanted to upload your own files to, have to locate in any, any area, then what you would do, you just click on add in the top right hand corner, click on file. And then what we can do here is if I go into my demo files, then we can click sample image, click on open, and then that will upload successfully. And it will appear in here. And this will only be accessible to you because you are in your own personal My Drive. Now, also, what My Drive gives you access to is a quick access to project document folders. So you can see here that we have BizTech Project and Mega Project. Those are work groups that I am a member of. So if I click into work groups, you'll be able to say BizTech Project and Mega Project. So let's just say I go into Tech CBiz and then go into the drive here. You can see that we have a scope PDF and you can see the, uh, the work group name is Tech CBiz. Now, if I want this particular document folder to appear in my drive, then all I need to do is click on the connect to drive button here. So if I click on, you can now see that it's successfully connected to my Bitrix 24 drive. So if I go back into the drive on the left hand side, I'll now be able to see the tech CBiz uh, that was connected eight seconds ago. So it just allows you quick access to those project and work group folders rather than having to go directly into the work group. So if I click into here, I can see the scope PDF that was in that project work group that I've just connected. So it's a fantastic way of accessing those documents quickly. And another good thing is that you can access these documents, as I said, remotely on your laptop on and on the browser version and you can also access these on your desktop so that's the other area of what my drive is perfect for so if you have so let's say for example uh, got the desktop application so the desktop application if i just bring it into here 
You can download the desktop application from the Bitrix24 website. Just click on the apps menu link in the top menu. And then you would log in if you're on the cloud version. Just put in your username and your password. Click on login and then you will automatically log in. I'm on an on-premise version at the moment. So what I'm going to do, click on that link. All you need to do is, if you're on on-premise, is put the full URL in, including the HTTPS colon slash slash. I click on admin, type in the username and password. Click on login. And then what that does is it brings in your desktop application here. So we're going to, we talk about desktop application in another one of our short videos, just about the communication aspect and what it's uh, used for. But one of the good features is this drive icon here. So in the drive icon, what I can do is I can actually specify, it's actually popped up on a different screen, but I can actually specify uh, how I want the files and folders to sync. And essentially what the Bitrix24 desktop application does is it allows you to sync your My Drive to all the files and folders in My Drive to the uh, a location specified on your local machine. So if I just move this to the right here, and I've just at this moment in time uh, synced up the uh, my drive to my local machine. So if I just bring in my finder window, I'm on a currently on a on a Mac. But you can see here that I've just synced these files and folders up. So today I've synced this up and you can see tech biz, stored files, mega project, biz tech project. And you can see it's an exact reflection of all the files and folders in my drive. And the great work about doing this is because what we can do now is I can access these documents locally on my local Word editor. So I can double click this and it will open up um, either Microsoft Word or Pages or, or whatever word processor that you use on your machine. And when I save it, it will sync back into Bitrix via the desktop application. So that is a great way of uh, working because you can work locally on your machine as long as you've got the desktop application open it will then sync to so if I just double click on this I do believe it's going to open up pages I don't have Microsoft Office on here but what I can do is I can edit this now so I can say uh, and in Ayla, one two three four five then if I click file and save what it will do is if I just save it back into my Bitrix24 folder, click save, it will now sync back up to Bitrix via the desktop application. So now this will have the latest uh, file for that particular, uh, sorry, it will, have, it will have the latest version of that particular file. So the desktop application plays a pivotal role in locally editing documents and syncing the files and folders from your My Drive, which is a great tool to have. Now, if I click on Company Drive, let's just, because this is again is a key, key aspect of Bitrix for remote working, because if you are at home working from home or in, in a different office location, everybody needs to access the central repository for those files. So, it's quite simple and easy to uh, build your file structure, file and folder structure. If you want to add folder and add and upload your files into those folders, you can do so here. Furthermore, what you can do is you can set permissions on the company drive as a whole. So click on assign permissions here. And let's just deselect this at the moment. But what we can do, all employees have read access. The ad group administrators have full access. So if I click on save there, then what I can do is if I click on all quotes, for example, at the moment, you can't see access permissions. So if I now go into the little gear icon, click on assign permissions and then reselect this, because I just wanted to show you that it wasn't visible if you didn't select this. And what you can do is I can now click on all quotes and now I can assign permissions solely for this particular folder. So you can see here actually already has some 
different permissions based on the actual whole drive permissions. So in this case, only administrators would be able to see the all quotes folder. They wouldn't be able to, normal employees would not know that that all quotes folder exists. And you can do that on a folder and you can also do that on files as well. So access permissions here. So again, it's a great way of working. Now, we also have the ability to define how we work and edit these particular documents. So what we have here is a little gear icon, settings for working with documents, and we have two options. So we have the ability to edit and work on those documents in the cloud. So if you use Google Docs, we can open that up and connect to Google Docs. Or alternatively, which is what I'll show you, is we can edit locally. So editing locally, as long as we've got this desktop application connected up, then what we can do is it will go via the desktop application. So if I was to click on new document here, and then what we can do is click on edit. You can tell me it's wanting to use the Bitrix 24 application. And then it, I don't, like I say, I don't have a word editor on this particular document, but it would just open up my local editor for working with that. And as soon as I save, it will again go back via the desktop application and it will sync to Bitrix. So it's a, again, a great way of working. And then finally, we have all the different aspects of each document that gets uploaded. We can see any revision history. So you can see here, if we had edited it, it would make a new entry. And you, you can download or restore previous versions of any document within Bitrix. You can share it by a public link. You can copy an internal link and post it on your activity stream. Uh, and you can lock documents so nobody else can work on them whilst you're working on them. So there are a whole range of different tools to be working on these documents. And again, it's quite uh, an essential part, plays a central part of working remotely because everybody obviously needs access to the documents. If you are interested in accessing these documents on a mobile app, I would recommend that you watch our uh, mobile application remote working uh, recording and we can show you how to access those documents and upload documents whilst you're on your mobile device. The final area, as I mentioned, is work groups. So each project and each work group has a, a document facility if you want it to. So when you create a group, you have the option to switch the drive on and off. So if I click on the drive here, again, it's pretty much a, 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 an imitation, a copy of the rules that I've just been through on the company drive. We have exactly the same here. So we have assigned permissions, this is just solely for this project. Uh, we can have business processes for working with documents. So I would recommend watching our business process webinar so you can have a look at if somebody was to upload a file into this particular project work group, you can actually have an approval process for that. So I hope you found it useful. I click back into the drive. I would recommend having a play around with your own Bitrix24 drive within your system, download the desktop application again from the Bitrix24 website into the apps section. You'll be able to download whether it's for a Mac or a, a Windows machine. And yeah, this is how you should be working with documents remotely using Bitrix24. Bye for now.